Imagine building an app that scales to thousands of users without ever setting up a server or having to think about infrastructure. With just a few lines of code, your logic runs in the cloud automatically whenever it's needed. That's what serverless makes possible, and today we're going to explore how it works and why it's such a game changer for building applications in AWS. Hi, if you're new around here, my name is Ryan. I'm an AWS certified solutions architect and developer, and my goal is to teach you modern serverless system design using AWS. Let's jump in. Today, we're gonna break down the basics of serverless system design, what it is, why it matters, and how you can start using it to build scalable, cost-effective applications in the cloud. So let's go over what we're gonna talk about today. We'll start by defining what serverless really means, and then we'll dive into some of the core components, design principles, and best practices for designing serverless workflows and applications. Along the way, I'll share some some real world examples, architectural patterns, and practical tips for you to get hands on with serverless technology. I'll be mentioning services that specifically AWS offers, but every single cloud provider has serverless components and service offerings. So what does serverless mean? Well, the word serverless is actually a bit of a misnomer. At face value, serverless sounds like there are no servers involved. But of course, that's not true. Under the hood, there are still physical servers, virtual machines, containers, and networks. The difference is who manages them. Serverless computing is a cloud execution model where the cloud provider automatically manages the infrastructure for you. That means as a developer, you no longer need to worry about provisioning, maintaining, or scaling servers. You just write the code and the platform takes care of the rest. This model is event-driven, where your code runs in response to triggers like API calls, file uploads, or database changes. So let's talk benefits. With serverless, there is no server management. You don't manage or provision any servers. All of that is abstracted away from you. It offers automatic scaling based on demand. Your application scales automatically, whether you're receiving 10 requests a day or 10,000 requests a second. The pricing model is also pay as you go. You're only billed for the compute that you actually use. There's no charge for idle time. This means that one of the primary benefits of serverless is that you've got faster time to market. By reducing infrastructure overhead, developers can focus on business logic and innovation leading to increased productivity and faster development cycles. Serverless is particularly well suited for microservices, APIs, automation, and backend tasks that are triggered by events. Let's walk through the essential building blocks of any serverless architecture. First we have compute. This is where your code lives. With AWS Lambda, you upload your function and it runs only when it's triggered. You're charged per execution and compute time. API Gateway acts as the front door to your application. It allows you to expose your Lambda functions as REST or WebSocket APIs and handles request routing, rate limiting, and authorization. Serverless databases like DynamoDB offer highly scalable, fully managed storage that adapts to usage without provisioning. For SQL use cases, Aurora Serverless provides on-demand capacity. For file and object storage, Amazon S3 allows you to store and retrieve any amount of data. It's commonly used for file uploads, backups, and even hosting static websites. Serverless systems often rely on messaging to decouple services. Services like SNS for PubSub, SQS for queuing, and EventBridge ensure reliable asynchronous communication between your components. And finally, orchestration for coordinating complex workflows. AWS Step Functions lets you define state machines that chain together multiple Lambda functions or services with branching logic and error handling. These components work together to build robust, scalable, and cost-effective applications without traditional server management. Serverless systems work best when they follow a few foundational design principles. Serverless systems are event-driven architectures. Functions are triggered by events such as an HTTP request, a file upload, a database change, or a message in a queue. Everything is reacting to something happening. Serverless fits naturally with microservices. Each function should handle a single responsibility, such as processing a form, sending a notification, or transforming a data payload. This makes your system modular, easier to test, and simpler to scale. Serverless functions are also stateless, which means they don't retain memory between executions. That means that any state that your app needs access to must be stored externally, whether in a database, object storage, or in a cache. While this might feel limiting at first, it actually helps to enforce best practices by maintaining a clean separation of concerns and it improves the scalability of your application. These principles promote loose coupling, high cohesion, and resilient architectures, all essential for modern cloud-native applications. Let's 
let's take a look at a real world example, a contact form submission system, something that nearly every website has. First, we have our user interaction, where a visitor fills out a form on your website, maybe providing their name, a message, and a file upload. When they click Submit, that request is sent to an API Gateway endpoint. API Gateway then invokes a Lambda function. This function is responsible for handling our incoming request. It sanitizes the inputs, parses any attachments, and then determines what to do next. The Lambda function then stores the data. The form data, like name, email, message, and timestamp, is written to DynamoDB so it can be queried later. If the user uploaded a file, like a resume or an image, it's then stored in an S3 bucket with a unique key. Once the message is stored, the function then publishes a notification to an SNS topic, which triggers an email notification to be sent to your support or your sales team, letting them know that there's a new contact form submission. This architecture follows our serverless design principles. It's event-driven because the form submission triggers a chain of actions. It's stateless because the Lambda function doesn't retain any session information, and it's scalable and decoupled because each service handles a specific role and can scale independently. This is a simple yet powerful example of how serverless can run production-grade features behind the scenes with minimal effort and cost. To build secure and robust serverless applications, here are a few key best practices. Keep functions small and focused. Design each Lambda function to do one thing really well. This aligns with microservices principles and improves readability, testability, and deployment speed. Smaller functions also tend to reduce cold start times and minimize resource usage, which keeps your costs low and your responsiveness high. Security is a top priority in cloud computing. Each function should run with the minimal amount of permissions that it needs to do its job which means you should avoid using overly broad roles for your functions. You should instead design specific IAM policies that allow access to maybe a specific DynamoDB table or a specific S3 bucket. Visibility into your application is key when operating in a serverless world. You should use CloudWatch for logs, metrics, and alarms related to your functions. You'll want to track things like invocation, duration, error rates, throttling, and memory usage. Serverless functions should be built to fail gracefully. You should implement try-catch logic, use dead letter queues for unprocessed events, and use step functions to control your retries, especially in async workflows. Following these best practices will help you to build serverless systems that are secure, efficient, observable, and resilient. Serverless powers many real-world applications. Here are some of the most common use cases. Serverless is perfect for back-end APIs that power web and mobile applications. You can use API Gateway to handle HTTP requests, Cognito to handle user authentication, and DynamoDB or Aurora Server serverless for storage. It's scalable and cost efficient, especially for apps that have unpredictable traffic patterns. Whether it's real-time stream processing or periodic batch jobs, serverless shines in data workflows. For example, you can use Kinesis or S3 events that filter, transform, or enrich data before storing it in a database or a data warehouse. Serverless is also great for running scheduled jobs using EventBridge. Examples include nightly data syncs, cleanup tasks, sending reminder emails, or running DevOps automation like auto-scaling rules or deployments. And in IoT scenarios, devices often send frequent small payloads. Serverless functions can process these events on demand like filtering, alerting, and storing readings. You can use services like IoT Core and Lambda to create highly scalable, cost-effective pipelines for sensor data. Each of these use cases takes advantage of automatic scaling, event-driven design, and cost efficiency, making serverless a compelling choice for both startups and enterprises. So here are some suggestions for getting your feet wet with building building some serverless applications on AWS. First is to use the AWS free tier. AWS offers 1 million free Lambda requests per month, plus generous limits on things like S3, DynamoDB, and API Gateway. It's the perfect way to experiment without spending anything. Lambda blueprints are another great way to get started with Lambda. The AWS console offers pre-configured templates for setting up a variety of different Lambda use cases. You can launch a Hello World function from the console in minutes and test how it responds to triggers. A great first project is an HTTP endpoint backed by a Lambda function. You can use API Gateway to expose a simple Lambda function that returns a greeting. And now you've built a basic serverless web service. Next, you can use SAM or the serverless application model or the serverless
serverless framework. These tools will simplify development and deployment of your serverless services. With just a few lines of YAML, you can define your entire serverless application and deploy it from the command line. The serverless framework is more beginner friendly while SAM sticks more closely to AWS native syntax. If you already know a programming language like TypeScript or Python, then the CDK is the next natural step. It lets you define your infrastructure as code, giving you more control and versionability, which is great for growing projects. There are fantastic tutorials available from AWS, Free Code Camp, and on YouTube, and even my own channel. These walk you through building real world use case applications using serverless components. Next, try exploring some event triggers. Try connecting a Lambda function to an S3 bucket that will run every single time a file is uploaded. Or you can set up an event bridge rule that will just run a function on a set schedule every hour. These event-driven patterns will be the core of most serverless applications. If you don't want to feel pressure to automate everything immediately, just start in the console. Using the console to manually set up an API gateway or a Lambda function can help you to really understand what's going on underneath the hood when you use some of these automating services. And let's go ahead and bring it all together. Serverless is about removing the burden of infrastructure management, allowing developers to focus on writing code that delivers business value. You define what needs to happen, and then the cloud takes care of the rest. It's event-driven and highly modular, making it a great fit for modern workloads like APIs, microservices, automation workflows, and real-time data processing. And to make the most of it, you want to follow the best practices. You want to keep functions focused, secure them tightly, monitor them properly, and plan for errors and scaling. Serverless is a central part of modern cloud infrastructure. Whether you're building a startup MVP or augmenting a large enterprise system, serverless can help you move faster and scale smarter. And don't forget to try it out for yourself. Start small and build from there. Once you experience the power and the simplicity of serverless, it's really hard to go back. If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a like, and then please let me know down in the comments if there's any other videos that you want to see me make. Thank you for watching.